I have a lot of internet memes, but I think this one is just gonna like follow me until the day I die. You know, <laughs> I have a feeling that that's gonna be the case. <laughs> Hey, what's going on, everybody? For First Week Feast, I'm Sean Evans, and you're watching Hot Ones. It's the show with hot questions and even hotter wings. And today I'm joined by Tyra Banks. She's a fashion world icon, legendary supermodel, TV host, business mogul, and she has a new book, Perfect is Boring, 10 Things My Crazy Fierce Mama Taught Me About Beauty, Booty, and Being a Boss. Tyra Banks, Hi. welcome to the show. I like how you said booty. Booty. I popped it. You popped that you booty. popped that booty. <laughs> <laughs> yes. How are you a spicy food? Get ready. Uh-oh. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> no, I have such a lightweight. Really? Oh my God, I can't handle it. But I love this challenge. I mean, I have my friends, they're like, girl, you black, right? I'm like, yeah, like, well, we were raised with spicy food. I'm like, my granny didn't make it that spicy. All right, Tyra, <laughs> well, are you ready to runway walk through 10 scorching hot chicken wings? Oh, I love what you did there. I am. Ah. Ooh, it smells kind of sweet. Ain't no thing but a chicken wine. That's good. I can deal with that. So there are many sides to Tyra, and we'll get into them all today, but I want to start with Tyra Banks, business school professor. I know that you were helping to teach a class for Stanford MBAs called Project U, Building and Extending Your Personal Brand. Yes. Is it true that you started class by having all the students take one minute videos of themselves? Yes, how do you know that? Who told you that? Yes, I wanted to see what they thought their personal brands are. And so part of that is them submitting a video of them talking about themselves and what they think their personal brands are. So that from that first thing to the last thing they do, it's totally different and they learn a hell of a lot. You know, one of the things about building a personal brand that's tough is to not look like a jerk who's building their personal brand. <laughs> How do you avoid that? What's your advice for that? You mean the, the narcissistic right. kind of view of it? Mm -hmm. It has to be really natural. It can't be like you're forcing it. At the same time, if your brand is being a jerk, then jerk away, like lean into it. Really ride that. Ride the jerk. He's burning the tip just a little right here. <laughs> just the tip. This all sounds strange. <laughs> I grew up on this one. You're familiar. Quite. Mm. Oh yeah. I know this. We used to have fish Fridays when I was a kid. My mom would uh, buy fried fish. And we'd take Louisiana hot sauce and ketchup, and mix it in a big bowl, and then dip the fish in that. So this is taking you back. I feel, oh my God, I hear like, hip hop, hip it to the hip it to the hip. <laughs> no, taking me back then. So can't have a Tyra Banks interview without talking about America's Next Top Model. It's a cable TV institution, one of the longest running, most successful reality shows ever. When you think about all the over the top competitions, whether it's the treadmill runway or the bubble ball walk, which one was most fun for you to watch from a distance? I would have to say my models walking down a building, like, like this is the building. It is 10 stories high. This is my model on the edge of the building and she has on a harness and she's now perpendicular to the building and she is walking down the building facing the ground. That was wonderful from afar. Do you have a favorite guest judge? Nicki Minaj. She's like, you cute and all, but you know, I think that the hair should be a little bigger. I really liked her. <laughs> do you get a kick out of seeing that we were all rooting for you gif all over the internet or do you kind of wish mean, it would go away? It's everywhere. It's never going anywhere. So right. I have to own it. And people come up to me and they're like, please, here's my name. My name is Paul. Now, can you just like substitute the name for Paul? And I'll do it sometimes. It depends on the mood. Right. You know, it's kind of like a party trick. And then America's Next Top Model, it's a competition which naturally breeds rivalries. But I'm curious, when you look back on your own career, what are the most savage chess moves that you've ever seen models do to try to get ahead? Oh, I mean, I've experienced it myself quite a lot. I remember there was one model I was about to walk on in the runway and she was like, yeah, 
crap and I hope you fall and blah, 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 like crazy. It felt like it was straight out of Showgirls. Trying to get in your head. Yeah. Another one, actually, I don't know who did it actually, but I had these big shoes that I had to put on and my dresser dressed me and like, and dressed me like right close to the edge of the runway. I jump on the stairs really fast and I start walking and I realize my shoelaces are tied together. So I had to sashay like really close, like with my hips, like, ooh, 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 ooh. But you didn't fall. Never, honey. I've never fallen on the runway. Tyra always ends up on top. Always on top. This tip and top stuff is just a little too much. And the sexy hot wings, oh my God, it's just too hot. That's good. Not hot. Picking it up. Tyra. Oh, it creeps though. Mm -hmm. It's creeping. Mm -hmm. It's very TLC. I'm showing my age, 90s. So you know that you've arrived and you become a permanent fixture in rap lyrics, and I'd venture to say that Tyra Banks is probably the most name check supermodel in the history of hip hop. So with that in mind, what I want to do is bounce some classic Tyra Banks bars off of you, and I'm just curious how they hit your ear, your opinion. Maybe you like it, maybe you don't like it, maybe it leaves you confused, and we'll just go from there. Does okay. that sound good? All right, so this first one is from Paul Wall. It's off Fly. I got the top steady drop in like record sales. Paint changing colors like Tyra Banks fingernails. Oh, he's saying that my nails be changing, my nail color be changing. I appreciate that, but look at my nails right now. They're not changing colors. They're like so bad, so busted. He needed to be like, I got the fingernails looking like I'm living up in jail, like the Tyra Banks cause the fingernails is looking like hell. Something like that, that's what this looks like. <laughs> All right, so this next one is from Lauren Hill. It's off Keep It Tight. Chicks try to model after me like I'm Tyra Banks. Wanna thank me cause my statements are prodigious. Style so prestigious, make a sinner act religious. Oh my God, wait, Lauren Hill put me in a rhyme? Lauren Hill put you in a rhyme. And I don't know this? It's off the song, Keep It Tight. This is sacrilegious. And it's an I don't amazing song. Oh my God, Lauren, that's, you don't understand. Lauren Hill, she has songs like Zion and songs that bring me to tears. So I bow down to you, Miss Hill. I did not know that you put me in that. I feel like I'm about to faint, give me a pill to make me rise up with this sauce that's making me blow up. Wow. My mouth because it's so hot. Yo, yup. that was so whack. It was not. I was in. So I was in. Could have gone it? another. Could have gone another forty-four bars. Oh for my me. god! You know what? Let's do that after. <laughs> okay, deal, deal. <laughs> I have one more for you. This is from Two Chains. It's off Bentley Truck. Shorty, thick, small waist, fat ass, gone shake, money tall. Tyra Banks, we everything y'all ain't. Oh, money tall. So he's saying that like, I got height. It's a double entendre. It's I both. Think. I'm tall and mm -hmm. got money. Yeah. I like that, two chains. Now, does he wear two chains? I've come across him two times. One time he was wearing two chains, and one time he was only wearing one chain. But it was a very big chain, so that I think it's almost two like two chains. chains. And isn't he tall? He's very tall. And he has money. And he has money. And I'm single. Ooh. And I got on one chain. I need another one, if you don't want to play. <laughs> we, we see what you're putting out there. We see what you're putting out there. Two chains, if you're watching. All right, Tyra, you ready to move on? Yes. And before we move on, we're going to have a very special guest joining us at the table. All right, we are joined at the table with Carolyn London, who is the inspiration, the foundation for the new book, Perfect is Boring. And you guys have inspired so many people with this no punches pulled, candid mother-daughter relationship and true hot ones fashion. We're gonna try to pull some skeletons out of the closet. Oh my gosh. Oh. But first, let's eat a wing. That's good. It's coming up though. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's late. Sneaky. Mm-hmm. Sneaky Pete. Mm -hmm. Oh. It's coming, but it's, you gotta keep brightening it so that the heat doesn't keep rising. That's the tip. There you go, the more you know. <laughs> Can you give me a mother-daughter argument that you guys had while writing the book? Oh yeah. She messed up all my writing. I would wake up in the middle of the night and I'd have these magnificent memories that I wanted to record. And I would write for an hour, an hour and a half. Beautiful, flowery. Five pages. I can see the pros in my head. And then I'd show it to her the next day. I mean, I'd be like, this is beautiful. These are five beautiful pages. And you see that one sentence right there? That is the one we're going to keep. <laughs> <laughs> so then a cuss out proceeded. And then finally, <laughs> whose brilliant idea was it to eat 10 scorching hot chicken wings today? 
I'm a fan. Tyra. I watched his show and I was like, oh my gosh, Ma, can we handle it? Can we handle it? Sean, I didn't even know what your show was. It's all right. That's why I appreciate it. I appreciate the honesty. I appreciate it. She had to turn on my computer and show me what people were doing. And I was like, you want me to do what? Yeah. And then she started making requests. She's like, oh my God, that show is so good. And she goes, and they asked us for milk. She was like, but I saw people get ice cream. So I need ice cream. We did. We got you guys a pint oh, of vanilla really? ice cream. Oh, we need that, because that really cools it down. Yeah, very smart, very smart. All right, you ready to move on? Yeah. You're amazing. <laughs> Mommy, you did good. Hammer Chang. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 Woo! You got it, Tyra. You got it. All right, Tyra, well, we have a recurring segment on our show called Explain That Gram, where we do a deep dive on our guest Instagram, pull interesting pictures that need more context. So I'll bust out the laptop, mm. I'll show you the picture, and then you just tell me the bigger story. Does that sound good? Sure. First things first, random act of fierceness with Riri. <laughs> I was at the Chateau Marmont Hotel, chilling, and Rihanna came in, totally glamorous, gorgeous, big, like, kind of coat on, and we ran into each other in the lobby. And I was like, you know you my big forehead sister. You know we gotta do pictures together. And so we did that photo together and I told her to really get into it and to lean and like pose and she hit it. Then we did another one where we uh, showed how beautiful our foreheads are. I was gonna say you're part of the forehead family but you're not, you're just buzzed. Well, you'd be able to tell. Oh wait, let me see, yeah. Put your hand right where your hair starts. It's a little higher, right there. You're my cousin. I wouldn't say you're my forehead brother. I want in the club so bad. You're so not. Like the velvet mm. rope is kind of like almost. Come back in a couple of years. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Karma sauce. Karma's a biatch. Okay, different ones burn different parts of the mouth. This burns my throat. Yeah. Why does this burn back there? It's by design. All the peppers, they hit you differently. So we're really throwing a lot at you. Tara. Yeah, it's now in my throat. Mm -hmm. Like if I had a sore throat, I'd be healed right now. I'd be like, I'd be fine. Ooh, On the rise of Instagram, I'm curious. I love from, how you just keep talking. I'm curious from your perspective, what's the difference between someone doing gym selfies with 5 million Instagram followers and then an angel walking the runway at the Victoria's Secret fashion show? The one that's doing the selfies probably is making a hell of a lot more money. <laughs> These days, so many of these big brands are so prestigious now, like you just want to be a part of these brands so badly, so they don't have to pay you as much. Right. Back in the day, they paid us a hell of a lot of money and I bought lots of houses and things. Um, but now if you're like a social media star, they make a lot of money. Has social media been good for modeling? Is it a good way to discover talent? Yes. I discovered Winnie Harlow, who was on America's Next Top Model, scrolling through Instagram. There was this beautiful model, African-American girl, she had vitiligo. It was the most beautiful patterns on her face. And I just was like, I have to find her. And I started asking people on Instagram, who is this, who is this? And she ended up on America's Next Top Model. And now she's one of the Teen Choice Everywhere. Awards most favorites. She's a real supermodel now. Mm -hmm. And I love the fact that models don't have to like just hope that someone dressed in black, I call it the, the bosses in black, choose them and say, oh, I think you're amazing. It's like, no, they create their own followings and make themselves stars. No barriers to entry anymore. Exactly. This one has like things, these one, ugh, this, ugh, mm -mm. This one has like pieces where you can actually see the hot things, like the whole thing. And then when there's a seed, the seed is hotter than the skin. Do you see that seed right there? Really getting into the weeds of yeah. the wing over here. That's Tyra. like not cute. <gasps> so you've been a provocateur when it comes to addressing how beauty standards function in society. For those of us who don't have the opportunity to get a tie over from Thai Thai, do you have any advice for finding your own look? Let me think, if I were to give you a tie over, what would I do? Yeah. Actually, you're good. Whoa. Every now and then I have a model that doesn't need a tie over. And I don't think you would need one. Wow. You are giving me Justin Timberlake, 2011. 
Whoa, I don't deserve that, but I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys feel it? It's Justin Timberlake. I'm sure you've heard that before. Well, you know, I felt very validated when you said that a bald head was one of your favorite flossom beauty qualities. It is, because so it's hot. Well, with that in mind, can I show you a couple pics from our season five promo spread? Maybe you can just thumb through and- Oh, okay. Yeah. This one is hot. You look a little mysterious. You look like you're about to rob somebody, though. Okay. Yeah, but it's 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 like sexy criminal. Mm-hmm. Right. That's nice, but I say no. Mm-hmm. Um, what is this like? I'm like talking to the last. Talking to the sauce. This makes absolutely no sense. Okay. This is a hot mess. A little more abstract. Um, this is like number one thing that a man should not do in a photo, but they do all the time. This thing. Yes. Don't do that. So this okay. Is hot I'll mess. never do no. it again. This again, I feel like I would not want to be in a dark uh, alley. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, this Too much? one looks like you're going. Ooh, but they caught you wrong. Like, like Isaac on the love boat. Yeah. 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 But wrong. Okay. Uh, this one looks very shaka bra, like Hawaii kind of hot mess. Mm -hmm. Ooh, this is good. This is good. This is good. This is sexy. Yes, I'm seeing a little baby Tom Hanks in that. Has somebody ever told you that? Yeah. First time, but I'll take that. I see it in the eyes. I see Tom Hanks in the eyes. This is hot. This is sexy. If you were my new man, I would show this to my friends in my phone. Play so um, your cards right, Tyra. This is a hot mess. Okay. Like, no. it looks like you're playing the trombone or the tuba or something. Right, right. Like, this is, I know you're saying, oh, it's hot. The hot sauce is hot. In, in post, we put some flames. We had the whole flame thing going. The, you shouldn't have to think in post. You right, shouldn't right. have to explain it. You're it should right. just be. You're post, right. it should be extra and wonderful, but it should be amazing on its own. Whack. You're right. Whack. Oh, sweet. Sweet. This is nice. Are you single? I am. Oh, okay. So let me explain. Are you on any dating sites? No, I don't do that. Okay, but you should do it. You think so? Yes. But let me explain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When a man has his profile shot on a dating site mm -hmm. and he is not making eye contact with the camera, his swipes go up. The Ooh. positive swipe increases. His engagement goes higher. But I think it's sad because what is that saying about women? That we don't want you guys to pay attention to us? Yeah, or that there's something desirable about a disconnect or yeah, something. Or yeah, or like, I think you're hot, but I think she hotter. You know what I mean? Right. But just, that's just my advice. But if you did do a dating site thing, I would definitely do him. Thank you very much, Tyra. And I got supermodels for you too, if you want to like date any of those girls. Let's, let's have a whole powwow after this, okay? <laughs> Careful. Really? Looking out for you, Ty Ty. Okay, Sean Sean. I need some ice cream. Mama. <laughs> Do we have oh! <laughs> That's not even food. Welcome to the show. But that was not. That was like this. That was like this. Do you still have a crush on Larry David? Oh my God, I was just talking about this. He's hot. My mom likes him too. Well, we didn't know that we liked him. We were like talking one day and we were like, oh my, you know what I think is hot? My mom goes, ah. I'm not making any sense right now. Larry David, he's hot. He's so hot. I don't. You got it, Tyra. <laughs> I know that you used to rewrite commercials when you were a kid. Have you ever thought about if you were to make a curb cameo, what your character might be like? I want to be on curb so bad. I'm not that great with lines because I've hosted. A host. But you know we're good at being ourselves. And when you give you lines, people give you lines, it's like, what? Mm. I've always wanted to. <laughs> As a host, when you had your talk show, did you find that you had more leeway with My celebrities? My teeth are like doing something too. To go there because they know that you understand the stakes and backlash that might be involved. I was like, ask celebrities anything. Mm-hmm. 
when I had my talk show, I got in the bed with Janet Jackson. I did all kind of crazy stuff with Beyonce, and I felt safe. Do you feel safe on this talk show? Not at all. It doesn't stop. Mm hmm. <sighs> How do you deal with it? Mind over matter. You have some ice cream. You have some milk. <laughs> you guys don't understand. This is for real. <sighs> Tara, you okay? Uh huh. I'm with you, okay? You and me, walking up the mountain. This next one is Mad Dog 357 with number nine plutonium. Okay. Okay. Ty, are you okay? I want to trade places with a cameraman. <sighs> Come. <laughs> I want to trade places with you. I can't. I really, I honestly can't. What's your name? <laughs> I'm Bill. Hi, Bill. Hi. Hi. Yeah, Bill. Okay. I'm Mike. I'm Bill. <laughs> <laughs> Put that wing in your mouth, Bill. Put that wing in your mouth, Bill. Oh, but cheers. Oh wait, not that one, oh, Bill. Which one? The number nine oh, mad dog, one, Bill. Right? No, Bill. Bill. Oh, this one. Yeah. Okay. They're spicy. Mm-hmm. So, Bill, when did you know that you were in love with Tyra Banks? Uh, it's been forever. You came Coming to, to life. America. No, you came to life. Life size. Life size, yes. I... You saw life size? Yes, I did. I'm doing life size part two. This. <laughs> it's holiday season. <laughs> I think I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> Why am I walking like my feet hurt? <laughs> you know, it's so funny. I saw Kevin Hart do this, and he was really like crying and acting crazy, and I thought he was just doing his Kevin Hart thing. And then you yeah, realize... You will. Mm-hmm. All right. So in your book, you say real women know when to apologize, and it seems the music career is your biggest mea culpa. Your rap name, Ty Lock Ski Mask Dog. Ty Lok Ski Mask Dog. Does she ever come out, or are you saving her for York's 18th birthday? You want it right now? Yeah, I want it right now. You want it before or after the wing? I want it right now. Okay, here we go. You want to beatbox me in? Yeah. Yo, yo. I'm 34A, but that's okay, cause the rest of my body is just touche. I'm five foot nine, I look so fine. Yes, all my fellas are so divine. When I'm finished with this, you might as well just dismiss all the other female rappers, cause y'all just piss. My eyes so green, they look so keen. If I had one look, you know what I mean. My hair so brown, it is always down. And on my face, there never is a frown. Now when you and I meet, we will not stay. And you better get on your knees and kiss my hand. Go Tata, get busy. Go Tyra. Woo! All right, Tyra. This is the last dab. We call it the last dab because it's tradition around here to put a little extra on the last wing. You don't have to if you don't want to. My mother told me. <laughs> What is happening? <laughs> I'm like, I feel loopy. <laughs> you know, I've never been drunk ever. Now you have. I feel like something about this makes yeah. you, it's a weird, your brain goes somewhere or it something. It does, it's trippy. <sighs> My mom said she never raised a quitter. Tyra Banks, back from the dead. Be careful with that bomb. Oh, Here, okay. let's switch wings. <laughs> let's switch. Oh, okay, thank you. Gentlemen. Cheers, Tyra. What a run it's been. Back from the dead, Tyra Banks on the last dab. It's burning my throat. Okay, so the reason why I'm not dying right now, da bomb, burn the hi <laughs> hi hung. Scorched the last earth. dab is in my back of my throat. So I've got even burnness happening right now, so it's not doubling down on the burn. Still hot as hell, though. 
All right, Tyra, here we are, 10 chicken wings down, belly full of hot sauce, and just one more obstacle. In a 2008 New York Times profile, you're reported to have 275 different smiles at your disposal, ranging from flirting and commercial to angry, but still smiling. So to put you to the test, I'm gonna call out each one of these hot sauces, and then you hit me with the smile for each sauce. Okay. Humble House. Louisiana. Green market sauce. Hot ones. Hamajang. Karma. Dawson's. <laughs> da Bomb. Mad Dog 357. <sighs> the Last Dab. Put it in the history books. <laughs> Tyra Banks on Hot Ones. What a run it's been. As much fun as I've ever had on set, and I'm not just saying that. Are you serious? Dead ass serious. Oh my god. And now there's nothing left to do but roll out the red carpet for you, Tyra Banks. This camera, this camera, or this camera. Let the people know what you have going on in your life. <laughs> Buy my book. <laughs> Perfect is boring. Give me the book. This book is so raw, it is so real. We talk about how to win, how to get that money, how to make that cheddar, how to make the life better, and how to know when you might have a dream, like being a singer, but it ain't the calling, baby. All right, I love you guys so much. Good job, Tyra. What the hell? That, this thing? No. You guys, that is like... Can I take a picture for your Insta? I think the only way you can handle this is like if you don't have the right taste buds or something. We got it, get, wait, we got it. We hold this. What a shit. So this is, that's why. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that always is like boom. Hey, what's going on, Hot Ones fans? It's Sean Evans checking in. If you enjoyed the video, do us a solid. Please subscribe. We're not above begging for clout over here, so you know what to do. Smash that subscribe button with a sledgehammer. Who appreciates you? Me.